Good morning and welcome to a, uh, one of my daily practice sessions. The target, if you can see it, is uh, about 115 meters away from here. Sorry, 105 meters away from... No, actually, I wanted to practice this shot. It's full-on wind. Like, the wind is coming right in the face and it's actually pretty substantial. I don't know, I'd say 15, 20 kilometers. Yeah, I shouldn't even bother with a 9. I think I go for an 8 straight. Right down, you see like a little piece of cloth hanging? That's the flag. <laughs> <Let's go>. Oh! <laughs> that went miles to the left. This road is in level. So it's a bit uphill. I'm, I'm actually on a slight uphill. So the ball is above my feet, so it's gonna go left, whatever I do. I'm actually thrashing it with the 8 iron. And remember my clubs are true lofted clubs. So these clubs are not like today's club. Oh, I hit an 8 iron 160 yards. However, I'm not, particularly me, I'm not a very, very like bomber. And I don't like golf, <laughs> approaching golf that way. So, again, going left, everything's going left in there. When is slightly from the right, to be honest. It's not completely full on. Oh dear me, that was a skull. That, that's, that's like nine feet away from the pin. That's the best shot of it today. Oh dear me. Seven iron for me here. Oh, fat. That was fat, yes. Wow, it's gonna be hot today. For the record, it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning at the moment here in the Canary Islands. And it's already like 30 degrees. The sun is itchy now. I mean, it's already just 10 o'clock in the morning and, and the sun is already itchy. <laughs> Wait for noon. All right. Now that was a good shot. I could almost feel it in slow motion. But I wasn't hitting it in slow motion, but that's, what, that's how I like golf, you know? I want to apologize for the uh, for the camera movement, but it's either that or getting wind noise all the time. Ever since I took up on the game, like I don't know, uh, it's got to be something psychological because it's not technical. It's not something I've been taught. But uh, I've started to basically hit, you know, in the middle of the club, doesn't matter where it goes, middle of the club, and get this crisp sound out of my irons, which I love, actually. It's almost a, uh, it's, it's super addictive, you know. Let me, let me hit another one for you. Hopefully you can hear it. I'm not sure. Oh, dear. I like to, to, to hold the club almost as loose as you know i just let it go a little bit more and the, the club will be tossed and that way you can have more you know more whipping action and and, and you can you can feel it nice <laughs> i don't know if you can hear it man i don't know if the microphone is working because oh fuck oh dear oh dear
get a stinger. <laughs> that was too much of a stinger. That's a great shot. Oh, that's the best shot. Best shot I've hit today. Great shot. I saw dust coming off. Yeah, the area around the green is. I kind of steer. I don't know how to. I'm not native English, so. So it's like a it's like a big bunker around the around the flag, and every time I land on it, the the, the land is like sand. It's very duffy, dusty, and fluffy. So it goes poof, and you can see a puff of smoke. I mean, a puff of dust. And that's how I know where the balls land if they land uh, nine feet around the hole. You know what it's not even a technical thought behind it or I mean I've seen guy players play like ball on the right and then keep the keep the club as low as possible through the finish but uh, if you think about it it's actually quite uh, like a logical way to, to use the club if you go this high the ball's gonna go I mean uh, wherever the club comes from <laughs> boom the attack it has on the ball is going to make the ball just go the opposite way just like the Newton law you know it's reaction so so yeah, guys who have uh, flatter swings, like they say flatter, okay? The people who go like this, it's a great way to, to keep the ball low is having a flat swing when needed. Uh, I'm a very tall guy, so for me it's very easy to take the club high and boom, and the ball just goes. Like I can loft this thing over the light post, seven iron from 20 yards, the ball will go up over, I'm exaggerating obviously. Oh, that's low, but that started left already. One more. Ball slightly right. Keep the club low. Ah, that went too high, but it was a penetrating shot. Oh dear me! No. That was a horrible shot. Guys, thank you for watching and if you guys haven't seen my Instagram account, I hope you guys enjoy and share the same passion that I have for the game, despite uh, not being able to afford uh, that daily on the course. Um, it doesn't matter. You guys uh, send me links if you play on your course. I'd love to see the courses where you play. Um, this is the course I play <laughs> so far. If you, if you like the videos enough, this is the first one. Well, I don't like asking people to subscribe or to follow me or stuff like that, you know. I'm, I'm, I was born 89, I'm still an analog guy. We don't, we don't ask for people to follow you. you just, people just do it if they find it uh, worth it. I can see smoke coming out of the phone because it's right under the sun. Uh, like, let me show you how I... That's my car, right? My car. That's like a, a beach chair or something. And underneath there is like a little hole through, through which I push the jack of the microphone and that way I can hello neighbor just passing by concerned that he was bothering me and I said no no I'm done I'm done so look at this this is this is just cellar tape okay and I basically squeeze the, the phone I pressure squeeze the phone through it and it works like a tripod actually but beautiful actually two four go go Hello to the camera. Like, don't don't worry about him. It's it's really hot, but uh, he's in the shade. I created some shade. Remember, heat, shade, okay? Um, and everything you know, the wind's blowing it's all the time be beneath you guys. <laughs> be careful. It's a Rottweiler. Time. 
see you uh, see you see you guys come uh, find the video and maybe see you next time leave a comment and uh, yeah let's go for it for the dream